Now I want to ask you a question. How many times have you seen a verification come up on your browser to prove that I'm not a robot? On a planet with technology that grows each day, it can be difficult to separate ourselves from the virtual world. Take cell phones for an example. Nowadays, it is extremely rare to find anybody without one. In the event of an emergency, especially during these times with a global pandemic, having a cell phone could allow fast access to and potentially save lives. While I think we can all agree on the importance of cell phones for contact, many parents have criticized excessive use of phones and video games. However, again, we are living in the era of COVID-19 where the internet is more vital than ever. The difference between entertaining ourselves in the past and now has shifted from Legos and clunky phone calls to video games and instant messaging, from physical to virtual. I would argue that technology creates many opportunities for us. In a situation like the current pandemic, online chatting and gaming are able to provide a platform for us to connect and interact with other people around the globe getting to know different nationalities. While in the past, you'd be playing Lego in isolation. It doesn't just mean communicating with people far away either. Personally, I have found chatting more convenient than ever. When it, from when I started gaming with my friends, I've always used a chatting software called Discord. According to its developers, whether you're part of a school club, gaming group, worldwide art community, or just a handful of friends that want to spend time together. Discord makes it easy to talk every day and hang out more often. During this period where I'm rarely able to meet up with my friends in person, this has been a useful tool for us to keep up with each other and experience human interaction beyond home. Other people use similar social media app platforms like Snapchat and WhatsApp, but whatever the app, they're all used for the same purpose to get in contact with the friends and relatives who they're unable to meet. In the time when it is dangerous for many people to gather in the same place, there have been many concerns about education. From January until the end of May, I did not step foot inside my school at all. However, our studies had to continue no matter what. So this was a period when technology became vital to us. Classes switched from offline in the classroom to online at home. While it wasn't a smooth transition, the ability to take classes online and remain in contact with teachers has undoubtedly been crucial to all students' learning. If this pandemic had occurred 20 years ago, schools most likely would have closed completely and there would have been no live teaching due to the fewer households that had stable Wi-Fi connections and the lack of advanced technology that we have today. Because of online classes, I've been able to keep up with my studies and explore alternate methods of learning. Online class is not a perfect replacement for attending a school in person. We all know that, but it is the best temporary substitute for the time being. Many parents have a negative view on their kids' use of technology, especially video games, due to eye strain, impacts on mental health, and violent themes. I can admit these are true to an extent. From the age of around 11 years old, I started developing an addiction to video games. I would stay up until 1 in the morning playing video games and I was never in the right mindset. In fact, it reached a point where I even fell asleep in class once. This was a turning point and I realized that this was a habit I needed to change as it was taking over all my priorities. Of course. I now understand that video games should be played in moderation. That being said, I believe there should be a balance between our time spent online and offline. When we spend our time with our family and friends offline, we are able to interact directly and share experiences with them. But it is not always possible or practical. This is where the online aspect comes in. Years ago, if a school friend had moved away, the chances of keeping in touch with them were close to zero. Now, it is easier to ever easier than ever to send a message in real time and receive a response. In the past year, friends didn't even need to move away for this to be a concern, as the most common meeting place school was off limits. However, 
Thanks to our tech current technology, students have been able to contact their friends with a push of a button or even meet them in virtual worlds. Technology has come a long way in the past 50 years, from brick-like phones and, it, and the internet that had to be plugged into a computer. We have progressed to a multitude of smart devices that allow us to check our emails on the go, leave a message for our friends, take notes for school, and entertain ourselves with endless apps. Furthermore, technology and the internet have opened up doors for people of all ages to explore their interests, from producing music and filming videos to creating illustrations and writing articles. Our lives have not only been made more convenient, but also enriched with new ways to discover our passions. Technology continues to transform our world right in front of our eyes. This is the idea that the online world is about self-expression, creativity, and sharing, not just overcoming challenges posed by our everyday lives. It's about creating opportunities.